Hello and welcome to the March 2023 edition of St. Joe's News from the Nest, the video newsletter for not only the latest St. Joseph High School stories, but all things around campus. My name is Ben Chadwick and I'm a member of the St. Joe's class of 2023. In today's episode, you will get coverage on the latest events from the Parents Club, the climactic conclusion to our winter sports season, as well as the celebration of a special feast day. The Fathers Club held their annual Lenten fish fry. The menu included fried filet, shrimp, clam chowder, and more. Because of the generous volunteers, the food came out great and it was a fun time for all who attended. The St. Joe's community had the chance to win exclusive prizes in the 40th annual basket raffle held by the St. Joseph Mothers Club. The Maglio Gymnasium was packed with Falcon families, providing a great opportunity to socialize and get to know each other. The Mothers Club is working hard to make the next basket raffle special for the whole community. On March 19th, we celebrated our patron saint, St. Joseph, with a family mass, community breakfast, and grandparents' day. Father Jack O'Kane from the class of 1987 led the Mass with a powerful message of following in the footsteps of St. Joseph. Afterwards, students took their grandparents on tours of the school, then had breakfast cooked by the Fathers Club, making for a great day in the community. St. Joe's held its fourth annual Giving Day on March 20th, raising over $215,000 for the St. Joseph Annual Fund, which supports need-based financial assistance, scholarships, clubs, activities, as well as athletics. A special thank you to all the alumni, parents, and friends of St. Joe's who contributed to make St. Joseph Giving Day a tremendous success. St. Joseph High School is proud to congratulate Tyler Anderson and Aiden Duell as the Edison Rotary Seniors of the Month for March 2023. Tyler has served the Catholic Church as an altar server and extraordinary minister at St. Joe's. He is part of the Neuroscience Club and Falcons for Safety, as well as the track team. Tyler works as a baseball and softball umpire in Monroe and as a volunteer in the PAL program. In college, he will be majoring in biology. Aiden Duell is very active in the St. Joe's community, serving in the Student Council, National Honor Society, and Falcons for Safety, in addition to being a varsity rower. He also gives back to his community, participating in Justice Works, Buddy Ball, and working with both the Lakeview School and Plainfield Animal Shelter. Aiden plans to study cybersecurity and intends to secure a government position post-college to continue public service. The St. Joseph Bowling Program made a statement this year as the top team in New Jersey by winning the program's first ever state title. The bowling team also dominated the NJSIAA Individual Championships as freshman Kai Struthers took home the Individual State Championship with junior Devin Kiesling taking second. It was a legendary year for the team with a bright future ahead. St. Joe's Wrestling shattered all previous records when senior Gio Alejandro punched his ticket to become the first Falcon wrestler to make it to the NJSIAA State Finals. After a standout tournament, Alejandro secured his title as both the state finals runner-up and one of the best wrestlers in St. Joe's history. He was one of seven student athletes that made it to the Atlantic City Tournament. Congratulations to Gio and the wrestling team for a historic season. Now, let's take a look into the heart of St. Joe's basketball, Josh Ingram. Josh Ingram has proven himself to be a leader for St. Joe's basketball, averaging 22 points a game with impressive skill and determination. Being close with the guys made it even better, having good chemistry with our team, and also making the, uh, our deep playoff run just brought us closer together and having a family at the end of it. Ingram's playmaking further led the team to beat Rutgers Prep in their last home game of the season, bringing them to the state sectional final. We knew it was high stakes, you know, but we had a huge crowd come out. Gym was packed, so it just gave us the energy we needed probably to get the win. Ingram recently committed to Lehigh University to continue his basketball career. Worked as hard as I can, you know, put my head down, just stuck to the basketball court and my academics, and it got me to that Lehigh offer. That's it for this month's edition of News from the Nest. St. Joe's has some fun events coming up, including the St. Joseph Theatre Company's production of Godspell on March 31st, April 1st, and 2nd. The school's second annual Battle of the Bands will also be rocking the Catanzaro Cafeteria on April 21st. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more news from the nest next month.